Hi, welcome back to today. Today is Tuesday, the 21st of Elul, the 22nd day of the Elul Challenge. And what we're going to be talking about during the course of this week is really one of the uh, underlying themes of the entire Yamim and Nuraim period is the idea of asking for forgiveness. And perhaps what we'll, and what we'll talk today is not so much as asking as much as it's giving. So this idea of giving forgiveness is of being mochel, to forgive somebody is one of the greatest mitzvahs um, in the Torah. In fact, to not forgive somebody falls into the Torah prohibition of bearing a grudge. Now the concept of bearing a grudge is, to quote, um, allowing somebody to live rent-free in your mind. That every time you see them, it evokes memories, emotions, and you're not able to let them go. The ability to, be, to forgive somebody for a wrong that they've done you, whether they are, are repentant or sorry for that which they did, is irrelevant because it eats at you. When you hold on to something that somebody has done to you, and you hold on and you bear that grudge, it does nothing for, the, for you, and it does nothing for them. At the end of the day, it's not, you're not punishing them, but you're punishing yourself. You're letting them live rent-free in your mind. And so this aspect that to go into Yom Nuraim is to forgive people, to be able to allow to let go of the things that people have done to you, especially when they are big and especially when, you know, even when people are not uh, remorseful over that which they've done because it's good for you. So yes, it may have some benefits for them, but it's good for you. So that's something that we have to walk into is that, you know, before we go to bed every night, there's a little part of the Shema, the, the bedtime Shema, that says, I forgive everybody that has wronged me today and I ask for forgiveness for everybody that I've wronged. But that aspect of being able to forgive is at least as important as the ability to ask for forgiveness. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.